We're heading to our starting point in Montrose, a suburb 33 kilometres east of Melbourne CBD. It's got a population of 6,900 as of 2021 and a variation in its altitude from 91 metres to 324 metres. There's a couple of things you can check out whilst you're in Montrose. There's the Kevin and Jill Hines People's Garden. This is a public community garden and Kevin was a prolific horticulturalist and TV presenter of the ABC So What from 1967 to 1988. Also there's the Montrose Brickworks and Flora Reserve. The brickworks actually ran from 1891 to 1920. It was a small scale business run by James Walker and the clay he used came from the site and was unique to this location. On your walk you can stop in at Handor Fine Chocolates, get yourself a great coffee, good chocolate, great food. The cafe is on our way to the National Park and only five minutes from Montrose. Now we've grabbed our morning coffee, we're heading up Mount Dandenong Tourist Road, turning right into Old Coach Road, then right into Marshall Terrace which will lead us straight into the National Park. Here's one of the original holiday cabins, built early last century. So you can follow along, here's a list of all the tracks that we'll be using on today's hike. Mount Dandenong and the Dandenong Range is a part of the Great Dividing Range. It has an elevation of 633 metres and is located 36 kilometres east of Melbourne, Victoria, with some fantastic hiking tracks running through some stunning native bushland. Here's where the fire trail crosses over Dasite Track. It's one of the toughest hikes in the Dandenong, but also one of the shortest, and leads straight up the side of the mountain from Montrose to Burke's Lookout. We've now reached the top of Towers Track. It's a short but steep part of the trail with a great surprise at the end. This tower is ATV 10. It's the giant of the mountain. It was originally built in 1964 to a height of 180 metres. The other towers beside it include GTV 9, 69 metres tall, ABV 2, 138 metres tall and HSV 7, 130 metres tall. Burke's Lookout offers fantastic views of the city to the south and the country to the north, plus for the brave it also has its very own hand gliding platform. This is where the fire line trail reaches the top at Burke's Lookout. This is the tragic site where on October 25th, 1938, 18 people were killed when Australian National Airways Douglas DC-2 Kaima crashed into the western slopes of the Dandenongs while flying from Adelaide to Melbourne.
the Danny Long Observatory. It's got a restaurant, cafe, wedding facilities. It's a very good look out. Nice spot to check out on your way through the Danny Nongs. As well as the Sky High Restaurant, Cafe, Wedding Venue, there is the Sky High Maze and Fantastic Gardens. It's also an important landmark with historical significance as the highest peak in the Dandenong Ranges. Up ahead is Kalorama, the finishing point for today's hike. It's situated on the ridge of the Dandenong Ranges and the area is renowned for its beauty. It's the site famous for a lookout point named Five Ways which overlooks Kalorama Park, Sylvan Reserve, the National Rhododendron Gardens and settled by Europeans in around 1855. Thanks for watching our video, please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.